Kawa Ishima, and I'm here again representing the Japanese American Cultural and Community Center and the Sustainable El Tokyo Coalition of Four Community Nonprofits in El Tokyo. Um, we are deeply concerned with the continued erasure of Japanese American from GPA's historic cultural monument application from the Interfection Avenue building and lack of adequate historical research. GPA did not contact JACCC in regards to our letter of support or statement for the last hearing, and it is to my understanding that they also did not consult with the Rafu Shimba, our 114 year old Los Angeles Japanese daily news on the street. We consider a protection avenue to be a part of the historical Tokyo neighborhood alongside our uh, St. Francis Xavier Japanese Catholic Church across the street. A protection is an important community asset home to Japanese American art history and artists who helped grow in the arts district of today. It would be a grave historical misstep to dismiss the contribution of artists, and in particular Japanese American artists and artists of color in the history of the arts district. In a recent LA Times article, Councilmember Huizar said that an arts district devoid of artists would be a horrible irony and a cruel travesty for that community, for the city of Los Angeles. We urge you to include and recognize the history of Japanese Americans and the residents here at a minimum. Um, and we are very troubled that a protection could potentially receive this designation all the owners simultaneously erase the people, history, and culture that have been <coughs> building a living, thriving cultural asset to our community. Um, are you done? Hi, I'm Andy Shaw representing Chinatown Community for Equitable uh, Development. Like many here today, I'm an artist and a community organizer from marginalized communities who are fighting to save our last homes that made our neighborhoods historic in the first place. I'm here to ask all of you, what is Los Angeles if we fail to recognize the importance of these iconic Japanese American artists and their contribution to downtown arts? We in Chinatown are truly disgusted by the evictions of Jap Japanese American community driven by the greed of DL DLJ Capital and Swiss Bank. We're further appalled by the GPA consulting firm's lazy research and blatant racism in the erasing the important connection between these Japanese American artists, Chicana artists at 800 Traction to Little Tokyo, Boyle Heights, downtown Los Angeles, and greater beyond. To support their eviction is a slap in the face not only to the Japanese American communities, but to the Asian American communities and POC communities in Los Angeles, of Los Angeles. I'm here to urge GPA to stop whitewashing our communities. Do your job to conduct the research and recommend it by those who built the community in the first place. I'm here, we're here to demand the stop of eviction of Japanese American communities. Again. Losing these Japanese American artists and POC artists in the arts district would be irrevocable loss to Los Angeles. Captain Marcel to represent the Los Angeles Service Center, which is a nonprofit organization that has helped to preserve the diversity and affordable housing in Little Tokyo. The Los Angeles Service Center uh, rejects the DLJ Capital Partners' request for historic cultural money designation for the Johannes Company building located at Hidden Attraction Avenue. As members of the Little Tokyo community and what is now known as the adjacent arts district, we are aware of the concerns being raised by the residents in this building and are concerned that the new owners could be rewarded with tax write-offs when, when, the, when their tenants are facing evictions without compensation. Further, we feel it is important that we value the current and past tenants' contributions for developing the arts district in Little Tokyo. And to two points, the contributions of these artists, Nancy Irmer's art, graces the front, front of Casa Hewa and affordable housing in Little Tokyo, Miles Mata and many projects that have contributed to the remembrance programs and other projects in Little Tokyo. And finally, I think as mentioned that the 70th anniversary this year of EO 9066, which uh, ordered the evacuated eviction of Japanese Americans from the West Coast, is this year, and to add insult to injury, and in that context would be to erase the history of Japanese Americans from the Asian attraction. We ask that you reject your request. Uh, Tim Kobina, 